All right, guys, we're right here. Welcome back to Burner Brother Antiques. We're gonna explore building number one, right there, building number one at Heart of Ohio, America's biggest and best antique center. Welcome to today. All right, so we're entering this first booth. We got Lucas, we got Josiah, and we got Josh. And we're just gonna explore this, guys. So Dude, uh, we gotta start with 1101. Look at this. I know, right here. Uncle this, Sam, Uncle right Sam. Here. At that, the look beginning. at the bronzes. These things are awesome. Great bronze. This and this 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 guy has lots of period Americana in and here. He's here stocking right now, so this is all gonna be fresh merchandise. Yeah, he's been bringing a lot of fresh stuff in here uh, today. Absolutely cool. Fresh stuff coming in. I love. I'm I'm a sucker for early or pewter lamps. I love pewter lamps. Oh, what is it? A child, a child singer. singer. Ooh, child singer. What about that little steam toy, Luke? Do you have you ever played with one of them? No. <laughs> <laughs> Me neither. <laughs> cool booth. I love the pewter cupboard there with the inlay work. Jacob, another great thing about building one is you have showcases right down the center. So how many showcases are in right are in this building okay. alone? A couple hundred? A couple hundred? Uh, uh, 150, 150 to 200 showcases in this building, and every showcase is just full of rarities. Really cool penguin. You like yeah, the penguin, penguin. Luke? Yeah. Who made Pottery it? Penguin. That's an Anderson. Anderson, Anderson design. That's cool. That's cool you know, this is an enamel box. That is phenomenal enamel. It's probably silver. Yeah, that's sterling silver dresser box, all enameled. Um, talk oh, about rarities. Oh, in that paperweight. Millifori Inkwell. paperweight. That's pretty special. And then Joe, Joe found something he finally <laughs> likes. Here we go. What do you got there, Joe? Tell us about it. Oh, that's a <laughs> betting wheel. Carnival fair wooden wheel spinning game. The spinning, spinning wheel. Yeah, you go to a carnival and you bet on your numbers or whatever and spin it. That's pretty cool. And these guys just re had restocked about a month ago, Josh, and they're about sold, like they've sold half the stuff in this booth. It's so crazy um, how much stuff that these guys have sold in the last month. I love the mid-century dresser right here. This right here, again, we're just walking right down through building number one. We're gonna just do a little slow tour and kind of check out some of the stuff. And look at the swung vase. That's cool. Orange hobnail. Fourth of July, look at that eagle coming at you. Fourth of July, there's an eagle. Fourth of July weekend's pretty cool. Uh, you know what, this has gotta be a really rare piece right here. Uh, Chief Joseph hand colored cabinet card. That's awesome, that's rare. More just so many interesting things in every showcase and every booth. Yeah, I'm telling you what. The most fun is that little rabbit right there, the paper mache German rabbits. We used to buy those in Europe. Wow. Now, then you, they got this. This booth right here is definitely a highlight in the antique center, a highlight in the antique center. They have that arts and crafts style, and they use the bookcases. It's just fun. I love it. Look at this. What is that, Luke? Uh, it's just a... Uh, ZSC Drip Glaze Vase. Zanesville? Is it Zanesville? Uh, ZSC? I don't know. That's a cool piece. Not marked. So. He's got Rookwood in here. He's got arts and crafts. He's got great mission style furniture everywhere. Uh, bookcases, uh, art pottery. A lead glass window. Lead in the glass back. window in the back. I mean, just check this out, guys. This is such great stuff. Oh, I like the umbrella stand, too. That's pretty fun. Look at the lamp. Talk about great leaded on that. Nice form. Great lamp. Um, big arts and crafts window in the back and then his showcases are always just full of rare pottery really cool stuff really very cool. interesting oh look at the raccoon that's probably pigeon forge isn't it can't see can't see the tags on the other side there's an et hurley rookwood back there that's rare man talk about great stuff we're still right here in building one we haven't gotten but like four booths in and you've already seen so many of these great things here we go let's keep on a moving um yeah here we go guys look at this fenton dealer lots of small things and we have we have some dealers that deal in really early american uh, firearms but uh, we don't show those together so well look at that yeah this is this is one of the highlights um of the mall for sure these guys have two booths one on each each uh, one and three on each wings and their stuff is just absolutely awesome I mean, stuff like this, Oscar Bach. How often do you get a chance just to go buy Oscar Bach sitting around uh, at an antique center? This is great stuff. The deco pieces, all period. Um, everything in their booth is just like hand-picked, hand-selected. Uh, I mean, Zolnay, that's awesome piece of Zolnay there. I like that a lot. Uh, everything they have, though. 
just very cool and they do a great job of displaying it and i think that's one of the, the my favorite things about this booth is just how much time they put into display look at the bronze tiger man meiji period tiger on root root root, root, root. i can't even say the word root wood there it got it out i got it out finally Woo. all right so here we go more and more and more just great isn't that beautiful yeah what is it arts and crafts it says red coral no. art glass six inch tall red and gold color yeah that's a gorgeous piece there's marble in here um in our showcase dealers guys these guys all just every every one of these showcases represents a different a different uh you know vendor's taste um oh that's a rare piece that's cool man that is absolutely awesome What's that's the that's the lhasa weller um those are so rare to find that's a big that's vase that's pottery oh wow yeah that's that's an incredible piece big uh flow blue uh platters on the bottom uh, there's hand-drawn silhouettes in here. There's early Bimini glass in here. Bimini. 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 I said Bimini. B Bimini. Uh, black on black Santa Clara stuff in here. This is a great booth. Uh, and then this guy here has got just one of the best golf collections in the world, I think, man. His stuff is almost all pristine condition. Uh, just gorgeous pieces. And he sells a lot. Yes, I, I didn't know how he would sell, but these, these guys, you can see all the holes everywhere. They're, these guys have sold a lot of volume since yeah. they moved in. Then right here, one of the pr most premier booths in uh, in America in glass. Uh, these guys right here write the books. I mean, they, they, they literally are authors of several books. Uh, great fit in glass. Um, lots of other glass as well. But, uh, man, talk about great rare glass. Here we go. Look at all the colors. And something else that you're going to find in this booth, not just glass, you're going to find an incredible group of Bakelite jewelry. It's tucked away over here in the corner. And this thing is great. Look at this display of Bakelite jewelry. I mean, talk about rare piece after rare piece. Absolutely awesome. Perfume bottles, dresser boxes, uh, Fenton lamps. Look at that jadeite tree right there, a flower tree. That's pretty cool. Um, man, cranberry. There's just fun, fun, fun stuff everywhere you look. Beautiful pieces of glass. Hall, all the hall teapots, the hall, all the hall china over here, and then boom, you got a whole collection of Asian antiques right here. Hey, hey Jay, we're just talking. Mickey about Mouse that. in there. Hey, there's a Mickey. That's funny. Do you see Mickey Mouse mixed <laughs> in with all the Asian stuff? That's really kind of funny. But yeah, that's that's kind of crazy. And this gentleman's getting older, and so he said he he's accepting offers. Um, he actually said that uh, this is on one his of tag. His favorites. Is it? Yep. That's so fun. But he's absolutely open to offers. He's, he put that right on his tag. He said, I'm 87 and a half years old. I need to sell. I'm open to offers. Uh, so, yeah, come check that one out. That's kind of fun. Something else that we started doing at the Antique Center, and you're going to find that um, throughout the buildings, is some folks are doing uh, sales now. So we've actually offering, uh, we can do a 10, 20, 30% off, whatever you want to do off um, sale by, by vendor. So, like this vendor right here, Showcase 12, 13, if they would decide to have a sale, we get it posted and then uh, we can have a sale all weekend with their stuff. Here we go, another booth went 1108. The toucan right there in 1108. You on your back porch. Everybody needs one of those. <laughs> That's pretty cool, pretty fun. Lots of interesting items in here. I love that table right there. That's pretty special. Oh, look at that light. The light. Is that brass on there? Is it? I don't know, I'm not sure what it's made of. Okay, right over here, across from them again, guys, more coins. We've got some great coin dealers in the mall here. Um, and you're gonna find some find some rare coins everywhere. There's there's paperweight dealer beside them. I missed that case, there we go. Paperweights and different things here in this case, the showcase 1213. Now we're working up to the 1215. Man, talk about some more gorgeous pieces in here. There's Navajo jewelry, there's early soft paste uh, china and, and stuff in here. There's some Stuban. Uh, just interesting, historical flow blue. There's early flask in here, uh, early glass, lots of early pieces. And then these guys right here sell, uh, again, you just never know what they're going to bring in. They brought in one time like three nine-foot bookcases. They sold them all right away. But, I mean, this, these guys always have interesting items. Uh, I don't know, Lucas, what's your favorite thing in this area? Oh, I got things in here. You like that right there? That's kind of a mid-century chandelier. That's pretty cool. This whole booth's just set up like it could be a den or a study or whatever. So I was just saying, it's like this just reminds me of like a, a den. You just want to sit down and start reading, don't you? Yeah. 
here we go. And we're, we're not even halfway down this, this, uh, this walk yet. Um, we're about one quarter of the way through this building. We haven't even got down one side yet. Uh, more great stuff. Look at the Pietra Dora plaque in the back. There's Elkington silver plate. Uh, just rarities after rarities after rarities. Uh, there's Galet in here. There's a lot of snuff bottles. Here's another jeweler uh, and Zippo lighters. Look at all the Zippo lighters down through here. Watches, Zippo lighters. Uh, no matter if you're in Rome, New York, or Tokyo, there we go. We got you covered. So interesting. Across from that, here we go again. Another booth. Lots of pottery and uh, different things on the side. And the whole booth just got fun, fun items in it. And that's what's really cool about the Heart of Ohio Antique Center is our dealers, uh, they each take their own approach. I mean, look at all this, the uh, baseball gear here. That's cool, all vintage baseball gear. Let's go back around and catch all oh, the Ohio State Fair, 1909. That's a fun group. Just exploring the mall, one little showcase at a time. I'll give you an idea of what all we got here. Uh, lots and lots and lots of stuff. Sasha Brastoff in this one. There's Majelica. There's Staffordshire. There's just fun, fun pieces everywhere. Here's I like Josh. You know what I like about this booth is it's like early Americana. Yeah. So I was just telling Joe, I was like, I'm a sucker for these little shaker boxes and hanging hanging, hanging boxes box. and shaker boxes. And I mean, there you go. There's a like an 1800 uh, secretary there. Uh, these guys always have early stuff. There's stoneware in here, um, hanging cupboards. There's art, blanket boxes. They've sold something in that corner. Just got uh, taken out last week. Uh, stoneware down at the bottom different pieces period chairs i mean that's a period chair again that's probably circa 1800 1790 1810 uh absolutely awesome period furniture here at the heart of ohio and there they go they're talking away again yeah i was like oh i like the blues it's fun how sometimes some of our vendors will take a section and just put like all blue or all red so we got the orange down there it's just uh great displays when they do it that way and look at all the dogs and toys. That's fun. Interesting group here. This is it. gearing up for the fourth too, Jacob. There's so much new stuff that's came in. Another period Americana booth here. Lots of fun stuff in this too. Um, spatterware down through there. Art glass. Uh, Native American items. Wow. Luke found a paperweight. That's true. <laughs> It is pretty. Luke, Luke's drawn to glass right now. And then if you look at the camera collection, man, we've got several camera vendors here at the Antique Center. Um, this one right here is always selling stuff as well. You know, no matter what price point you're looking for, you're going to find it here. If you're looking for stuff that's uh, $10 and under, you're going to find it. And if you're wanting to buy rarities, you're going to find it. Uh -huh. Look, I think these hands are rare. Yeah. There's a lot, a lot of stuff in this booth. Now this is fun because you got this, this booth here that's just full of full, full. It reminds you of an old antique shop, uh, how the shops used to be years and years ago and kind of nostalgic uh, when you just walk into this booth. You, you, know, you gotta look every direction because there's stuff literally hanging, there's stuff on the walls, it's piled, it's stacked. Uh, look at that Winchester display over there, that's cool. Uh, the jackets, all sorts of stuff. Uh, interesting. There's vintage clothes and period Americana all in the same booth here. These guys are just sellers. They like they like what they like, and that's what they put in their booth. Uh, more interesting showcases over here. Man, I'm telling you, these showcase dealers are just they're just top notch, top notch dealers, guys. I don't know that there's any any mall um, anywhere I've ever been, Josh, that has so many high quality showcase dealers. Uh, just stacked up, just lined showcase up. Showcase after showcase after showcase. It is just Look wonderful how stuff. This one is. And there's Eperns in here. There's Fenton. There's lots of glass in there, and it's all put by color again. And then across from it, I mean, look at the art. Like if you're looking for a print, a painting, or some kind of art or decoration, man, these guys have a bunch. This wasn't here Sunday. That's pretty cool. Which piece? This. Ooh, I this like that Pennington display. bread display. Isn't that awesome? That's so cool. I walked every showcase on Sunday, and I don't think that, that wasn't there. here on I Sunday. I would have remembered that. That's cool. They made a Hermes display out of the <laughs> out of the sign. <laughs> All right, that, these guys are very very creative on how our jewelers or how our dealers actually display. Not just jewelers, but all the dealers. They get very creative in their displays. And then Scott right here, he's like our resident um, refinished furniture dealer. He has all period American furniture, mostly American furniture, and it's all like refinished, ready to go in a home. 
Um, he, he actually does professional restoration for a living. This guy is amazing. Uh, his finishes are, are absolutely top-notch. Uh, just great stuff. Across from him, look at the dolls. You know, not everybody likes dolls, Josh, but I bet one day these dolls get really popular. You think so? I think it's going to happen. Catch on again and well, they're so inexpensive right now. I mean, you think about it. We used to sell dolls uh, for two, three, five hundred thousand, fifteen hundred apiece, and now right. everybody makes fun of them and says those are scary. I think it's going to come back, <laughs> and uh, there's going to be some really like a resurgence of doll collecting come. I don't know. I don't know when it's going to be in my lifetime or the next, but. Uh, it'll be interesting to see when it happens. Talk about a great West Virginia stoneware piece. Check that one out. Man, these, these are great cases right here. Looks like a Metlock over there on the side. Um, Scrimshaw, Jade, uh, vintage Hot Wheels, vintage toys, more cut glass. Look at all the brilliant American looking cut glass here. Uh, Harvard large ice piece. That, there's great cut glass in there. Uh, what we got over there? Hanging hall light. Yeah, a little chandelier. Victorian, absolutely beautiful opalescent glass in there. It's been electrified, man. You're looking to put something that's a highlight in your house. Yeah, and that's the nice piece. Well, Josh, what are those? What's the orange boxes over there? Those are awesome. Dorman Open products. Dorman products, Cincinnati, Ohio. Those wow, are heavy. Were man, metal. those weren't here long ago either. Those, those are, are awesome. Them are all bolt bins, dude. They're bolt bins with great, uh, great orange tins on the fronts. And th this guy here always has some really neat things in this booth. You just never know what they're going to find in here. Fenton to bolt bins to, to folk art clock. Uh, here you go, another another vendor. They've decided to put uh, oh, all the There you go, acro agate tea sets. Acro agates. There's a couple of those. we know where some of those just came from, huh? Yeah. Maybe not from us, but here again, another showcase vendor inside of a booth. So they they can rent a booth so they can get more showcases. Uh, and they've got great showcases in here. I mean, there's type animal collections, there's toys. Look at the miniature Singer sewing machines up on the top. Uh, very well displayed. A lot of focus on children's items in this booth. There's rare candle. I mean, how often do you see red candle wick? That is stunning. Uh, gorgeous. And caramel slag candle wick. I've never seen a piece of that. I've never owned a piece of caramel slag candle wick. Pretty cool piece. A uh, great candle wick display. I got to show you one more piece of candle wick. Look at the blue. The whole showcase, guys rare candle wick that is awesome this is all made by imperial as well uh they were introduced in 1936 and then they closed in 1984 that's pretty cool more showcase dealers over here and you can find just very great costume jewelry throughout the entire antique center um yeah how reasonably priced this is yeah. seven dollars seven dollars six, six dollars seven yeah. fifty I mean, they have That's what I'm so saying. many. Under 10 They're bucks, you can buy almost bracelets. anything in that showcase Brands. for under 10 bucks. Yeah, it's wonderful. And then, again, another booth that's just... Loaded full of just great, great stuff. Great yeah. stuff. I mean, um, the, the smalls in this booth are awesome, guys. Um, just showcases of, of great smalls. Look at the early spurs down there. Those are fun. Royal Beirut. There's Nippon. Um, yeah, there's, there's look like Moser up there. Majelica. Look at the Mickey Mouse piece in there. Very, very fun. Early humidors, there's Campair, Roseville Silhouette in the back, there's Terracotta up on the top. Um, there's Czech Glass in here. Turn the corner, more and more and more cool pieces of stuff, glassware. Uh, this guy's got it all going on in this booth. Come check it out. I'm talking about rare stuff. Just one piece after another of really rare pieces, rare items. I like the Rosenthal box. That's pretty cool. I've had some pretty good luck with those in the past. And then we have lots of uh, military dealers that are sp uh, spread out throughout the antique center. Another booth that's got um, early American furniture, just fun stuff. You know, like you can buy quilts in here and Franciscan, uh, amethyst glass and country items all in one booth. And then rare glass. Here we go again. The Boy, bear is that cool. bear is really awesome. Indiana glass bear. I like this stuff. Man, this guy's dealing in vintage toys. Boom, there we go. A little bit, a little bit of room for everybody. And now I'll tell you what, he sells a lot of these right here, this Marvel stuff. Um, graded comic books down here. That looks good. Fantastic Four. Man, that's probably a really good buy. Only $85 and it's graded. 
Um, here's another Fantastic Four, sixty-five dollars. It's graded. Jacob, this alien comes in peace. He comes in peace. Yeah. Such a five-foot alien. That's something. Isn't that cool? Aren't you amazed at how our how our vendors find this much stuff yeah. and bring it in? Just it's amazing the things that they actually find. Another one right here. We're getting to the, now. We've made it down one side of this building now, Josh. This is one side, and lots of advertising in this one. Uh, really cool advertising items, but they got other stuff as well. I mean, you got dolls and basketry and uh, American Fostoria, and then directly across, more advertising. This is a great showcase. He sells a lot of. Business. They do a lot of business. They they uh, they move a lot of volume. They always have a great display. And then you got David T. Smith's uh, like whole display area here, man. The workshops of David T. Smith. Um, incredible, in, incredible display right here. Uh, this is all David T. Smith. Uh, he makes the beds. He makes, he makes the beds, beds, but he also he refinishes this period furniture. Uh -huh. um, and then he'll also uh, manufacture period Americana as well if you need something. But like these winds, this is his stuff here. This is such great pieces. Here's a period American chest, uh, cherry. Look at the engraved fronts on that. What do we got here? Price tag, 550 bucks and you get a discount. We used to sell that chest at auction for more than that. And now they're retailing for less. I mean, this talk about great. Uh, they, hand, they, they actually hand make, Josh, all of this, uh, the pottery. The pottery. This, this, I think it's this right here, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Workshops of David T. Smith, is that what it says? Ooh, upside down. We got it upside down. <laughs> Need help? Yeah. Help! One handed. That's Good. cool. Morrow, Ohio. Morrow, Ohio, right there. And uh, that's so cool. This is all handmade stuff. Here's another one right here. You got to like that. So, right here, this is the beginning of this building. You got all this, all this David T. Smith stuff. This There's the stoneware. Uh, Kitchen Island is, is absolutely awesome with tiger maple top. And you got to love the boar. <laughs> that's cool that's cool and right behind right behind me i missed this showcase i want to pick this one up uh asian asian stuff here and then all this great glass and glass is getting more and more popular all the time uh, i mean that's high empress pattern up here look at the vaseline the minuet uh, lots of interesting pieces all the candelabras on top uh looks like cambridge ones up there uh, and then look at that big time jade carving that's jade that's crazy uh, and then back down over here, we have all this booth on the right full of smalls. They, they have lots of advertising and children's toys. Um, just a fun, fun booth. Now, we actually did an interview with this gentleman. Um, you have to go back into some of our old videos and find it. And he'll talk through all of these items that we're showing you right now. Uh, incredible, incredible uh, collection of stuff here in this showcase, this whole area. This is one booth we're filming right here. Uh, and, it, and it wraps around. And here's the other side of the booth very interesting items all the way through lots of rarities i mean look at that morris chocolates that's so cool just very nice items and he's got the wall full of stuff as well life buoy health soap i mean our advertising dealers here are absolutely awesome uh directly across we got glass we got jewelry uh man i'll tell you what we were here shopping late one night with uh, jocelyn and, and uh, uh pete was here with us and uh, micro mosaic bought out of there was so reasonable it was an incredible piece it was like 55 dollars for a big bracelet i remember that one you got micro mosaic earrings back there for 25 yeah that's a great buy uh there we go guys glass booth again uh hand that's probably an english one there really cool stuff there's are all these little perfume bottles check pieces through here more showcase displays showcase dealers top notch there's baseball items, baseball cards, sports memorabilia. <laughs> we're in the season for these two. More art glass. What do you got? I said we're in the season for these two. Oh, check it out. Jim yeah. Bean bottles, the Democrat and Republican. Well, they're still fighting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think they're ever going to get along, Josh. I don't know. Uh, check it out. This I like this space. It's open space. They've got the vintage hats, which has become so popular with the younger generation. Uh, I am blown away on how the young folks love these vintage hats because I used to wear all those. And now they're going around buying them as a uh, vintage. Luke, which one's your favorite hat over there? What would you oh, pick? The Pioneer. the Pioneer? Okay. Isn't that awesome? These guys have a little bit of everything through here. I mean, these are all stone carvings down here. Uh, books, there's uh, animal mounts, there's cherry chests. There's just fun stuff. 
fun stuff. And then right back across from them, more showcase dealers. Very interesting items. More showcase dealers. I like, I like all of the variety that you can find here in any given aisle or any given case for that matter. Uh, you just never know yeah. what you're gonna find. Um, lots of toys in this one here. Now, Josh, let's talk about this one here because these guys just moved in a few months ago. And man, they jumped up to they one of the top sellers so like instantly. Many signs. They brought in so many signs. You can actually you can sit back there and go through signs for 40 minutes. Yeah, and, and not but just the signs, but they've, the they've, they've, they've brought, brought in all the vintage stuff now yeah. too. They've also got an outside booth that's got fire hydrants and all kinds of cool stuff out there. Just incredible amount of stuff in here. I mean, all vintage signs, absolutely awesome. And these guys sell a lot, a lot of volume. Really cool group. Back across from them, case dealers. All sorts of little fun things in here. There's Hummels and there's Daltons and there's Jadeite and there's swung vases up top. Uh, this is just a, an incredible group all the way down this whole hall. One of my favorites here. Yeah, you just gotta love this this booth. This is a fun booth. That you can almost just go in there and chill out. <laughs> Look at some cool stuff. Really neat items. Josh, they're doing a 20% off sell all weekend here too. In this booth? Yeah. In this booth, 20% off. So that, that's kind of fun. We, the dealers are now offering that. And what happens is they just got to let us know up front at the office and then we'll post it for them and get it scheduled on the computers. So everything will automatically ring up uh, with 20% off on it. Very cool. And you can just look in this booth for days. It's got so many interesting items in it. This is kind of wild. What, we have a Fisher. Is this a, a cassette players are now in the malls for sale, Josh? Oh, isn't that funny? That's just funny. I, I mean, I, I think that's cool. Had one of those in your bedroom. I know. <laughs> if we'd have just kept it, we'd have been all right. All right, right across from them, more toys. Uh, it's interesting. These guys deal in toys, and then they have this Sev's clock in the corner. Uh, that's kind of funny. Lots of little pieces in this one. Hand-painted items. Uh, the cranberry set at the bottom is really awesome. Uh, directly across, here we go, another vendor. Just very cool stuff. I like the big welcome sign right on the top. Now, this gentleman's been here since the mall has opened um, and you know again high volume dealer um, lots of stuff lots of volume lots of uh, interest always coming in new piece look at the Schwinn bike um, new pieces stocked all the time uh, very interesting items in this one so you got to come check this one I love this one here ice cream maker Hamilton probably no I uh, mean it might be I'm not sure okay coin collection back on the other side Lots of silver dollars. There's a look at the two dollar bill in there. That one's fun. There's a big old in there. Early silver certificates in here. Lots of coins. Again, more Hummels and traditional type antique stuff you'd see in the malls in this showcase right here. Uh, the booth across from it. And guys, we're only in building number one. There's nine buildings here. This whole video is one of nine buildings. If you have not been to the Heart of Ohio Antique Center, uh, this is what you're missing out on. I mean, just incredible incredible stuff check this dealer out uh, i mean everything he has is high-end uh rare uh extremely hard to find type stuff and, and he's got booths of it i think this gentleman's got four or five booths here in the mall i'd have to go and look at the paperwork but i think it might be five um but he's it's just awesome stuff can't say enough about the dealers here at the antique center because they they work so hard and for these displays are so awesome I mean, look at that glass. That's such great glass, great work on those. Those are like 16 inches tall. Uh, they look like Moser possibly, I don't know. They're absolutely awesome. Enameled glass. A bear umbrella stand. A bear umbrella stand. That's so cool. Isn't that awesome? There's a little grinder. You know, Jimmy, Jimmy was talking yesterday in our coffee talk about if you're looking for a gift for somebody. Cal jumping over the middle um, down there you know come to the heart of ohio because you're going to find unique items uh, and you're supporting individuals you're supporting families you're supporting uh you yeah, know these are small businesses each one of these showcases represent a person or a family that comes in and does this it's awesome and we've got over 700 vendors here uh, now here's here you go guys these guys <laughs> sell so much stuff it's absolutely <laughs> crazy guy. I don't know what that is. He looks rough. <laughs> had a rough he's had a, he's rough had a better weekend. day. 
he has had a better day. The wicked chicken there. <laughs> uh, but there's always great buys to be had in this booth. And I mean, you go through and you start looking like there's a $15 cast iron doorstop. I mean, that's a great buy. Um, almost everything in here is like that. They just, their wholesale type approach, uh, selling here at the antique center and they move a ton of volume, lots and lots of stuff. Pretty cool. I like that scale there too. I mean, $349 for that early scale, all enameled, pretty fun. Okay. Uh, opposite right here. You go glass. Ooh, I love that. Looks that looks like Moser down there, Luke. I don't know if it is or not. It does. Uh, pretty See cool. In the over there? Oh yeah, it's kind of tucked away. Great glass. Lucas likes this case. Here's some more uh, superhero stuff in there. And lots of uh, lunch boxes and stuff. Uh, across from it, this dealer here again has been here since the antique center has opened uh, 20, 20 some years ago now. Um, and, he, and he has lots of fun stuff. He brings stuff in from, he's living up in Toledo area now. And he brings stuff in about once every two weeks uh restocking and you just never know what you're going to find because he goes to estate sales and house calls and and different things um and it's always interesting back over here more case dealers more case dealers check out the trains toys very interesting this is still we're still in the same building this is this is the the side of this booth he actually filled his booth up with showcases so he can get more case room uh, and that's always uh, a good thing if you're at the corner booths, you can do that. Let me kind of show you from this angle what we're looking back at. So this right here is just the edge of building number, what is this, four above me? Oh, uh, this is five above me. Five above me. So we're at the edge of five. We're not in five. We're still in building one, but building five is right above me. Uh, look at all of the vintage jewelry. This is great jewelry, guys. Still here in building number one. Country store display over here on this side absolutely awesome here's some more fenton and different things of that nature and fire king and glass uh flow blue and there's belique and the, uh, there's Faustoria. lots of fun stuff directly across from them uh more case dealers more case dealers on the opposite side here it is I've had a lot of people that have asked me, hey, why don't you do a walkthrough of the antique center? So Josh and I were like, let's do that uh, this week and uh, just try and hit a building a day for a week straight and give everybody an actual realistic tour of what it's like. Uh, and this isn't even realistic because we're going super yeah, fast. Yeah, we're not spending time in the booth. We're not spending time really looking at all the stuff. We're just giving you an overview of what you might see. Uh, this right here, we're in booth 1138. Again, this gentleman just has great stuff uh, throughout the entire antique center. You gotta There's love so it. So many neat little, incredible, smalls. incredible smalls, uh, high end, high quality, uh, and he's got a load, a load of it. Just he, he knows what he's doing. This is like a, you can tell a professional uh, dealer handling great stuff. Look at the cheese grater up there. I gotta buy that. What is it? How much is this cheese grater? Mm -hmm. Oh, that's cool. That's got to go to Copper Top that's Farms. What I'm sitting here thinking. Four ninety nine. You have to make him an offer. See if you can work out a deal with him. Wouldn't that look great? That would look great. There's Stuart Alberman in there. There's there's all kind of fun stuff. So cool. Art glass and Chinese items and uh, I mean his booths are just loaded, loaded full of stuff. Rookwood, uh, just really great pieces. And again, we had some other firearms dealers that I'm not showing, and that's okay. Um, we don't want to put them online. And, but we, we've got some really great Americana. Um, Flint locks and percussion stuff in here and things like that. Uh, so, anyways, we're gonna keep on going. We got more dealers, showcase dealers, uh, coin dealers. Here's another booth, and we're just now making it back to where we started. Uh, the final 30 feet or so here, um, and, and it just doesn't stop, guys. I mean, just great, great, great smalls um, everywhere you look. You're gonna find great smalls. This dealer right here, Josh, she actually flies. Um, around the world and and yeah. they, she brings back stuff from all over the world. Yep. She's a flight attendant. Flight attendant. Yeah. Is in Italy. She's everywhere. She goes all over. More cool stuff through here. I really like this Swiss t uh, cigar box here. That's pretty cool. I've had my eye on that thing forever. <laughs> I know. I keep thinking you're going to buy it one day. Here we go. Another booth full. There's dope box in here. Lots of early stuff. Um, country stuff. Victorian stuff. 
Oh, this booth here, this is interesting. They have all these early cleavers and axes and tools, early stuff back here. Uh, really fun, broad axes, there's planes. So if you need some early tools, we, ha we have those as well. We don't just have herb stuff, but we got all kinds of stuff. Uh, check out the old red tea box there, that's cool. Great paint, oak ice box is fun. Very interesting. And more dealers, more showcases. There's stife animals on the bottom, there's banks, there's all kinds of little figures. And here's some more jewelry. I got, you're not gonna find a better selection of jewelry uh, than right here at the heart of Ohio. Uh, it, doesn't, it doesn't really matter what gift uh, you're wanting. If you wanna give them a piece of jewelry or what, what you're buying for, if you wanna give them a piece of jewelry, you're gonna find it here. Now, these guys right here are Barbie specialists. Um, man, they've got great stuff. I mean, absolutely phenomenal grouping here of Barbies. There's Barbie clothes and accessories, as well as all these other great items in the in the booth. There's toys, um, just very very cool pieces. In the back on that showcase, the Murano clown. The Murano clown. There you go. Luke's looking at a Murano clown. <laughs> Straight ahead on the right. <laughs> and then right here, all the glass. This is the entryway. This is the corner booth. Uh, right here, showcase number 1280, uh, and that's the last of the showcase uh, on that side. And here is the final booth uh, in this building. Again, incredible, incredible stuff. Uh, this gentleman here has just got the, uh, the eye, the hand um, for great, great antiques. And we're back to the beginning right here. Josh, any last words? We just took the that booth tour for building number building one. one. That's yeah. building one. There's now nine buildings. Four and five split off of this that are the same size. All right. So if you can imagine how much more stuff there is. Yeah. It's, it's awesome. Well, guys, make sure you like, subscribe, comment, and we'll be back tomorrow.